One word that describes Desert Vista football. A brotherhood. You know, we've over these four years, we've had so much happen to our program with you know deaths and adversity and tragedy. It's just we, it's brought us so much closer together as a team and as friends and really as a family. So I'd say a brotherhood. My situation, I would say family, because they always have, family always has your back, always love you no matter what, so that's kind of, to me, it's kind of family. How has football helped you? Football has helped me a lot in my life, because of my dad passing away and uh, everything else happening throughout high school. This has helped me a lot, because uh, football kind of kept me going and kind of gave me that drive to keep on going with life, and it gave me my faith in God, so kind of just kept, kept on pushing me to go on and on and so. It makes you stronger. Yeah, you exactly, yeah. It makes me a lot stronger. Does it remind you of him? Oh, yeah. It reminds me, yeah, a lot. And that's kind of what I play for a lot of times. And uh, the reason why, like, I picked my number is because he picked that number for me. That was the first number I ever wore. Like, he kind of always, like, supported that. So every time I kind of put on his jersey, it kind of gave me, like, makes me remind him more and more and like every time I'm on the field it's like a whole different world. Like, I feel like his presence sometimes like because I play for him and like nobody else because that's like kind of what I strive for and every play that I go hard for him because I know like he's right there watching so I mean sometimes it's tough because I'd always be able to look in the stands and be like hey that's my dad right there and like he'd always be yelling at me or even if I was doing good he'd be yelling at me you know. But how did your teammates help you with that? Uh, actually, they helped me a lot because the night I found out, I was actually hanging out with a lot of my teammates, like Matt Trio, Anthony Reeves, Jalen, Steven El Sala, and uh, I kind of, um, my uh, sister, my older sister, she was in Japan with the fiance, so she called me and uh, she was crying. And, uh, I didn't really understand why. So and then she really couldn't get the words out. So and then. I called my uncle and I was like, what's up, what's going on? Because I was going to see my dad but right after that because it was about 8 o'clock. And I always went up, like on the weekends, I'd always see him at like 10 and like stay with him overnight. And like my uncle kind of just like told me like, he just said, uh, your dad, your dad uh, passed away. And like, like I, I was just in shock. I didn't really know what to do. Like, and I just started crying and like my uncle was trying to say that like he, he was like in a peaceful place now like he looked happy and stuff but just like hearing that like you're not only your dad but like your best friend just being taken out of your life like within a split second because even with the car accident how he was paralyzed and everything those five months that I had with him were probably the most important five months of my life because he taught me everything within those five months and when he was gone it just kind of shocked me and when I got uh, when I went back to my house I didn't I didn't expect it but everybody that I've ever known or ever seen in my life was at my house already they had already been there just to be there to come for me and that, that was something special because me and my sister and my mom we really needed that my older sister and my brother needed that too I definitely want to prove to other people that uh, Desert Vista football still has good athletes on this team and we're, we're, we're going to be ready this year. I want to prove that like coming back from last year, like we have as much talent as those kids before and we can like step up and win games with our whole team and not just individuals. Um, that, you know, that we can do it, that it's not a rebuilding year for us like everyone says it is and that we are, you know, we've got some great players and we're just trying to prove that we're great players and great team. Does that make you stronger? I think it does, yeah, we kind of got something to prove. No one's really expecting much from us, so, you know, we're taking that doubt as, as motivation to go show out, go out and, you know, show people what we can do.
What's it like being in the Thunderdome? Uh, the feeling is it's unreal. Uh, it's hard to explain. It's just the feeling of finally going out to fight with your brothers is, is just something that is, you just kind of you love. It's, it's a cool experience. You're just in the zone. You're, you're not really worried about any other thoughts that you had earlier in the day. You're just worried about the game. Uh, it's, it's indescribable. I mean, uh, it's, like, it's like your own place, your own sanctuary where you just uh, you let everything go and you, like, you kind of prepare yourself for what you're about to accomplish on the field. And There's nothing like being in the Thunderdome with your brothers though. The most exciting part of the game? The most exciting part is probably when you walk up to the line for the first snap of the game and each time it's, just, it's against a different team so you're looking out and you know it's just every time it's different and every time there's something unique about what you're doing and knowing the play that you're going to run knowing it could go to a touchdown or it could you know set the tone for the game it's exciting. Uh, just being out there with my brothers you know making plays having the crowd cheer uh, you know, just since I've been doing it for so long, you know, just it never gets old. What's it like on game day? It's the coolest feeling. Um, first period, you're kind of not really thinking about it that much, but as the day goes on, the pressure builds up. And it's just really, it's, it's a really awesome feeling knowing that everyone at school is behind you and has your back. What inspired you to play football? Uh, my dad. Why? Because he played football all through um, elementary school, high school, college, played a year in the pros. So I just wanted to be like him. It was my friends. I mean, mainly the seniors. Because I didn't play junior year and a lot of things were going on and they came to me and you know every day they're like man you should you know you should be out there like come out with us and then it was like one night and because like I, I was at this place I like, trained at and a lot of NFL guys go there and college guys and they're you know they were telling me they're like whether you know you you know whether whatever whatever is going on it's you know you're never gonna play ever again. I mean if you especially if you don't play in high school, especially in your years so be prepared to never play the game ever again. I was like, I don't think I'm ready, you know, to give up on this shit. So I don't know if that's why I really wanted to play. Uh, I think my biggest inspiration would probably be my brother. Uh, he was like five years older than me, so watching him play football and like, going to his games like really it kind of inspired me. I kind of wanted to just be exactly who my brother was. So I just kind of found the love for the game there. Actually, uh, my dad didn't want me to play. He said I would be hurt that I was too small, but my mom was really what motivated me to go out there and try to play and been playing since second grade. Well, growing up my dad was always like a big football fan and he kind of got me into the sport. I didn't really like it at first, but I started to really like it when he started encouraging me to do better. Play football is just growing up in a house full of people who play football, wouldn't be like my dad. So when I was in sixth grade, that's when I first started playing football. And I don't stop since. Well, when I was like four, my dad would come home from work and he would kind of just toss me the ball, come home from work and nerf football. And I, like, I would always catch it, so he just kind of like brought me into it. And ever since then, I kind of love the game. What inspired me to play football was probably the stories my dad had told me about my grandfather, about how he was a good football player in high school and college. So I wanted to. I used to go watch my uncle play at Maryville, and I watched him throughout college at ASU, and at a young age I just knew it was something I wanted to do. So. What inspired you to play football? Honestly, it wasn't really like one thing, it was basically me like wanting to do it myself because my dad and my uncle, they both played baseball and that was their main sport, so I wanted to do something new and like venture out and football just kind of stuck.
What is the Tukey Bowl to you? <sighs> the Tukey Bowl, it is, it's not just a game, first off. It's a... A lot of people think it's just a game. Though, right. So. It, but it, it's, it, a lot of people go, you know, A, it's a game between rivals. I mean, it's really, it's, for us as players, it's not just that. I mean, it is bragging rights to, to we own the community. We own our Tukey. That's what it says. And whoever wins owns that for that year until we meet again. And, you know, whether, no matter what happened throughout the game, whether a quarterback got hurt or touchdowns got called back or, you know, flags happening, whether they deserve it or not, it's a win. So, to, you know, it's a bragging rights. And for us, it's, we may like some of the guys off the field, you know, might, you know, say hi in public, but we have a genuine, as a team, and just in general, it's in our gene pool and to be a Desert Vista, to genuinely dislike Mount Point. And to beat them is, it's, uh, it's an honor. You have the whole community on your back. Do you understand that? Right now, it kind of seems that a lot of people are going towards Mount Point. I mean, people in the nation. I mean, they're nationally ranked top 10. And it's one of those things where, for us, it doesn't matter who you are, especially if you're Mount Point. For us, it's we don't care what rank you are. You come on our field and you think you're going to beat us. It's one of those things where, even if you do, you're going to, you're going to wish you never played. So it's, it's that kind of game. It's that serious to us. Like for us in our practices, there is a sense of urgency from scout team to, you know, to the starters. It is a sense of urgency to beat these guys. Pick one guy on the team. Who do you think you're closest to? I'd say Bobby Delgado. Me and Bobby go way back to SUV, and we always played together. We always had a great time with it, and uh, like two beans in a pot. 
mean, I'm so close with all these guys that I, I honestly couldn't pick one. But if, if I was going to pick one, it'd probably be uh, Anthony Reeves. Uh, he's been a brother to me, and I mean, I really look up to him and what he's about. And he's taught me so much that, and he's only like a year older than me. He's like a big brother. Probably Jason King, uh, Anthony Abadessa, and Will Barfield. I've known those three guys for years. and. I'm close with everybody, but those are probably the three guys I know I'm, clo I'm the closest with. That's a tough one. Um, I'd say I'd say because I've known him for 17 years. I kind of grew up with him. I'm also close to Jordan Lee Zach because we're on the same boat. When we came into the program, we didn't know anybody, so we became friends. Uh, we're all pretty close, but I'd say Jay Washington because we've been, you know, Real, real good friends since since my freshman year, and uh, yeah, we just bond a lot and hang out a lot on and off the field. So I'd say probably. Right now, uh, Anthony Abadessa. We're both out for the season, so I spend all my time with him. Uh, Richard Haywood. That's, that's my best friend. Um, Uh, there's a lot of guys I'm really close with, um, but if I had to pick one, it'd probably be uh, Max Jensen or Anthony Abadessa or maybe Lance Pavlina. You know, it's just hard to pick one. So. Disappointment there. I mean, I, I wouldn't say I'm content, but I mean, it was. I mean, it sucked and it's sad that we couldn't. I mean, go to the playoffs or go further. Or our, our record wasn't better, but I like the fight that I saw in you know, putting in our guys every play. Um, I'm not really happy, but you know, I'm kind of like content with how things ended. You know. We didn't make the playoffs, and everyone was sad and everything. But you know, we fought every pl every play, every down. We gave it our all, but you know, some things are meant to be, and I guess we're supposed to do anything this year. After the final second counted down, I felt disappointed that we didn't that we didn't leave more of a legacy. But now that I think about it, walking with them for the last time, just I don't know, like it made me happy that we were all together and made me realize that, that that just can't be the end. Like we can still continue all of our friendships. And it was it was definitely sad and really hard to like have that be the last time we're together all in full gear. Are you happy with how you ended the season? Um, I wouldn't say I'm happy with how the season ended. Um, we definitely had a lot of higher expectations, especially because of uh, the success the teams had the years before us. So it was really upsetting to see it end the way it did, but you know, um, we we'll probably learn a lot more from the adversity and not having a good senior season than we would have if we just blew everybody out. So in the long, in the long term, that's going to really help us out, I think, having a, a down year. I felt kind of, it was, a, it was mixed emotions. I mean, I was, I was mad because, I mean, the season was over. And I was sad because, I mean, I could no longer play football and I especially couldn't play it with, you know, guys that I've known you know, forever, the guys that i played football with, you know, the last few years, and it all kind of just was kind of surreal to think that it's now, it's over. I mean, that was literally the last game that, you know, a lot of these guys are going to play, and it was, it was for the most part, it was pretty sad, because you, you walk the length of that field, and you just think, every practice that you've had on that field, every game you've had on that field, you know, since freshman year. And 
also, you know, being a spectator and just everything that you've witnessed throughout, you know, being there at DV and it all just kind of comes back to you in that moment that you walk with your, you know, your brothers. And so it was, it was pretty sad. Do you miss it already? Yeah, it, it sucks like go after school, not being able to like go to practice. I know like some people dread practice, but you know, I actually look forward to it after school. Like I feel like it's time to get better. And just now that's over, I just go home, really do nothing all day. Just kind of watch TV, go to the gym maybe. <laughs> It's just not the same, you know. It's just you miss it every day, you know. You really take things for granted to learn that, you know, you don't have them anymore. I would've been dead without y'all. Y'all always had that place in my heart. Biggest one. Y'all always be my brother, though. I don't care what happened. Y'all kept me alive. I thank you so much. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being my family and being there for my family. <laughs> <laughs> we always fight through everything we got. Your other brothers are going to play other sports. You help them out. You keep them going. All right? There's no reason why this stops. <laughs> Y'all, my life. I, I love you guys so much. I, I the best memory with my brothers. <laughs> And I don't care what happened this year. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Because you guys are my best friends and my family. You guys will always be a part of my heart. Desert Vista football will always be within us. No matter what the outcome was. I'm glad I got to fight with you guys. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean I haven't started? How <laughs> you started like your football career? Um, I mean, that's, I mean, when I started, I started playing like a PYFL football, which was way before SCB. But we weren't, we didn't really know each other then, so I see you started to get to know each other. Oh and, <laughs> I told you I'm not good on the spot. Oh Dude! <laughs> you ready? Yeah. What inspired you? I was like, it's hard, it's just like staring at me. Like, I try to like blink it out, but it's just like, I can't even see it. Man, the feeling is, uh, it's crazy. It's just, it's that moment right before you're kind of going out to just fight with your brothers, and it's just really, it's fun. We're gonna have to do that again. Yes. I didn't hear you guys. No, but like, I'm a little quiet. You can't kick! You're the punter! <laughs> <laughs> Get him out.
Okay, you can't make noise. <laughs> okay, it's open now. Alright, I'm good. Alright. <laughs>